Hello truck washers, Jerry Kafitz again here. I'm here today to talk to you about a seminar that we'd like to have here in the Dallas-Fort uh, Worth area. This seminar is geared to meet a need that's been brought to my attention actually quite a number of times over the months and years. And that need is, is expressed by people who are wanting to get into the truck washing business or have not been in the truck washing, fleet washing, pressure washing business very long. What we want to do is we want to have a three-day seminar here in the Dallas area and this seminar is going to be kind of the fast track to bring people with no experience or limited experience in this field to a very high level of function and a very good broad and in-depth level of understanding of what it takes to succeed in the pressure washing business in the mobile wash business in the truck wash business and in this seminar which is going to be for a, a very limited number of people per seminar maybe four five six at the most we're going to cover these things in detail we're going to cover all these aspects of this industry of this trade in detail based on my experience of over 30 years uh, not just in the chemical business but in the truck washing business itself back in the middle 80s uh, we began as a mobile wash company called budget mobile truck wash in the chicago area and we were very very successful and i want to share the secrets of those success i want to discuss the pitfalls i want to discuss all the information that i think you need to be tremendously successful uh, beyond what information i have available to me so that you don't have to learn uh, as so many people do in startup businesses and that is by stumbling and falling and picking yourself up this type of thing so here's what i have in mind the participants in the seminar would arrive at dfw airport uh, sometime on friday we'll coordinate to make sure everybody gets in generally the same time and we will pick you up at the airport uh, dfw airport in uh, dallas fort worth and we will bring you to weatherford which is about uh oh 20 or so uh, minute minutes west of fort worth and uh, we will uh, have a, a hotel there where everybody will have reservations and uh, we'll be able to get a very good rate at that hotel i'll check it out personally make sure it's an acceptable facility and and has uh, nice appointments and so forth this will be on a friday friday night we'll just have a nice casual informal uh, dinner together um, not necessarily discussing a lot of uh, business related things just getting acquainted and and giving everybody an idea of what we're going to be doing in the next few days after that then saturday morning we get together we get together at eight o'clock and we have two a.m sessions we're going to give you just the general schedule here and then we'll go into detail and fill out and tell you what these sessions are going to involve. So on Saturday morning, we're going to have two sessions, two approximately two hour sessions in the conference room there at the hotel. And uh, we'll talk in detail about what's going to be in those sessions. And then um, we'll have a catered lunch on Saturday there at the, con at the conference room or some other uh, facility there in the hotel. And then in the afternoon, we'll have two more two hour sessions and then we'll have a restaurant uh, type dinner. We'll go out together and we'll all have a nice dinner together. That's on Saturday. Sunday morning, we're gonna go out into the field and we're gonna take uh, uh, a, a pickup truck with a pressure washer, some chemicals and some water on it. And we're gonna talk about how you set up a mobile wash truck efficiently so you don't have to reinvent the wheel, so you don't have to overinvest. In, in equipment that's just not necessary. We're gonna really put an emphasis on that so that you can start your operation as low a budget as you possibly can, but still have everything that you need to succeed. So we're gonna be in the field in the morning. We're gonna be washing uh, uh, a tractor, a trailer. We're gonna be talking about uh, other kinds of washing. We're gonna talk about the equipment. We're gonna talk about downstream injection. We're going to talk about ratios and we're going to 
I'll show you a, a, an agricultural type sprayer that we recommend for uh, application of chemicals to really stay on top of your ratios and be accurate and so forth. So that's Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, we're going to have a, an afternoon session in the conference room. And this one may be a little longer. We may go two to three hours or something like that. And then we're going to break. Everybody's going to go, uh, you know, take it easy, clean up. And then we're going to get together at our home here in Weatherford on Sunday evening for the, 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 the finale, the climax of uh, our time together. And I think that this will be a very, very enjoyable and memorable time together. We're going to have an executive chef here catering a uh, Texas-style barbecue with beef brisket and all the trimmings here poolside at, at our home. And we'll be able to talk a, a little bit, you know, if, I mean, if you have questions and things like that that have come up, we'll take the time to deal with these in the sessions, but this will be a good time to really make sure that everybody understands what we've gone through. Um, so, uh, and, then, and then Monday will be the departure. Monday morning will be the departure and uh, we'll pick everybody up, we'll take everybody back to uh, DFW Airport and hopefully we can find a time that's going to make sure that everybody gets uh, to their flight on time. Now some people will drive in and that's fine. Uh, that's fine. We'll give you the address of course where we'll meet you in Weatherford at the hotel and, and so forth. Now what you're thinking is, well what's all this going to cost? We want to make this affordable. We really do, and we're going to bend over backwards to do that. The cost of this three-day seminar is $1,500 per person, and the only other thing that you would have to add to that would be your hotel, your transportation, and your meals. The hotel is going to be very, very reasonable. We're thinking in the neighborhood of uh, uh, $45 per person. Uh, double occupancy in a very very nice place. If you want to bring a partner, um, if you want to bring uh, a spouse or something, that second person can participate for $500 and get everything that uh, you, that you're going to get. Uh, one more thing, on Sunday night in addition to this meal we're going to have a presentation of certificates that uh, we're going to give everyone for completing this seminar. Now what I want to do to try to make this even more affordable is I'm going to offer a $300 credit, a $300 credit to everybody who participates toward future purchases of chemicals. And that actually brings the, uh, the actual cost down to about $1,200 a person. So uh, $1,500 a person, $500 for the second person, you're going to have uh, just two, you know two or three or, or four meals uh, in, a, in, in a restaurant setting. Other than that, we're going to cater lunch on Saturday. We're going to have the executive chef catering our, our roundup type dinner on uh, Sunday night. And uh, I've had an opportunity to uh, partake of uh, this man's uh, cuisine and I'm telling you this is going to be a treat it absolutely truly is going to be a treat he's a known uh, executive chef in uh, this part of Texas and he's well known and you'll you'll enjoy that very very much um, he's swimming you know if you want to uh, if you want to swim uh, assuming that it's not January or something like that if it is you can still swim I'll, I'll watch I'll just stand there and watch so there you go, that's the seminar. Now, let's talk about the individual sessions. All right, let's talk about the individual sessions, the topics, the subject matter, the meat and potatoes of what you're going to get here. We're gonna start out talking about the basic equipment, just the basic equipment that you need for a mobile wash. This is where a lot of startup companies uh, make mistakes. They overspend, they try to reinvent the wheel, and worst of all, all too often, I see people get their advice from equipment salesmen who never washed a truck in their life, and you wind up spending five, six, seven thousand dollars on a pressure washer when you don't need to do that. You can get by with a fraction of that, a small fraction of that, and we're gonna show you, and we're gonna explain that to you. We're going to talk about the chemistry, the chemistry of truck washing what it is you're trying to do, how to get 
road film, oxidation, organic materials off the surface of a vehicle chemically on a molecular level rather than trying to beat it to death with detergents, with brushes, with extreme amounts of pressure, volume, heat, and all that, all of which is spinning your wheels. It's costing you money, and it is by far, by far, not the most efficient way to do the job. We're going to talk about technique, and we're going to talk about technique on a detailed level. Not just the basics, but we're going to show you step by step, literally step by step, how to wash a truck, how to maximize your use of chemicals, how to be economical, how to not waste chemicals, how to not wind up with half of your product on the ground, and how to get good coverage when you're washing tractors and trailers. We're going to talk about the pitfalls, the pitfalls. Where do people make mistakes? Well, people setting out on their own, I'm telling you, you're probably not going to be any different than anybody else, and that includes me, and you're going to make them. You're going to make mistakes. I was working for the chemical companies the first year or so or two that I started out. And when something didn't work, it, I'd take it back and they'd say, oh, okay, well, here, try this. And that was their sales pitch. And uh, very often that didn't work, and that's what prompted us to start making our own truck washing products back in the uh, uh, late 80s, middle to late 80s. And that's when Budget Mobile Truck Wash became BMTW Chemicals and BMTW Chemicals would later become Omega Chemical. Uh, the, the principle that people have in their mind when they start out in the truck washing business goes something like this. I can wash a car. If I can wash a car, I can wash a truck. If I can wash a truck, I can wash 10 trucks. If I can wash 10 trucks, I can wash 100 trucks. Let me tell you something. No, you can't. You really can't. Washing a truck has absolutely, positively nothing, nothing in common with washing a car. At least if you're going to do it efficiently and if you're going to make some money. And we'll talk about the surfaces that you're, uh, that you're washing. We'll talk about the different kinds of paint and what the paint has in relationship with the proper selection of chemicals. Uh, we're going to go into this in great detail. Then. We're going to talk about the business end of things, the business end of, of things, having a professional image, why that's important. We're going to talk about marketing, and we're going to slow down when we get to talk about marketing, and I'm going to tell you some of my secrets about marketing, marketing, which is something that I know something about from practical experience and from years and years of, of, of being successful in marketing. I was an invited guest lecturer at the Purdue Graduate School of Management and I talked on, uh, uh, I was invited to speak on entrepreneurship. So you're going to get some high level stuff here that's going to show you this is how you become successful. The success rate of, of small companies in the United States is 10%, failure rates 90%. We're going to put you way, way on the other side of that curve. I promise you we are. We're going to talk about pricing. How do you know what to charge? How do you know what to charge? I'm going to show you. This is how you determine what you're going to charge. We're going to talk about stepping outside, broadening your coverage, broadening your marketing away from just trucks, fleets, uh, etc. We're going to talk about money to be made cleaning concrete, cleaning wood, fences, decks. Uh, there's a lot of money to be made there, and, and there are some secrets and once you know those secrets, you are off and, and running, and you are running in a supercharged top rod. If you don't, you're going to be banging your head against the wall, and worse, you could do some damage to people's uh, equipment and property. I'm going to talk a little bit about marine, the marine world, which where we've had some experience in cleaning. It's not a big thing, but you might as well know about it. We're going to talk about the logistics of how you wash a truck, um, how the chemical uh, delivery system is set up in a truck. We're going to talk about downstream injection. We're going to talk about ratios. We're going to talk about selection manifolds. I'm going to show you one that you can make from $25 worth of hardware store parts and it'll select whatever chemical you want. All of these can go through one injector, one injector. Um, then we're going to talk about industrial cleaning, degreasing if you will. We had contracts at U.S. Steel in the Chicago area and we did very very well where everybody else had failed. When we got there and looked at some of this equipment 
slab haulers uh, that hauled 150 tons of steel where the ground clearance was big enough to drive a pickup truck under it. These were massive, massive pieces of equipment on uh, 10 foot rubber tires. They never expected anyone to get those clean. They said, yeah, you can try. Nobody's ever uh, washed them. We don't bother anymore. We sandblast and paint them every six months. We got them clean the first time. And I'm going to tell you how we did that. And we have a product now that's clearly superior to the product we used back then. Uh, and we made some money. I'm telling you, we flat made some money doing that. We've got customers now that are doing this. We're making a thousand dollars a day and I'm going to tell you uh, how it's done. I mean, I'm just going to tell you, this is how you do it. There's no guesswork involved. I've done it. I've been there. Um, these hands have washed uh, uh, 250,000 trucks or more. We're going to talk about the environmental aspect. You're going to hear some things that you didn't expect to hear. You're going to hear some you're going to find out how to win this battle without even fighting it. And I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to show you how to do that while being respectful to the environment, but not compromising your efficiency altogether by having to use products that don't work. We're going to talk about how to clean polished aluminum. We're going to talk about a method that we call flash brightening. You either learn that or stay away from polished aluminum because it won't be polished when you get done. If you do it right, you'll build a reputation doing that. So there you go. That's what we're going to do. And we're probably, there's probably a few things that I didn't even think of. But the seminar is going to be scheduled on the basis of response. And when we get a few people who are interested, we're going to coordinate and we're going to pick a weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You'll be home Monday. Um, and um, are we open to doing it during the week? Yeah, I think so. It'd be a little tougher to get in the field and get something done, but, but we're, we're, we're open. So this is going to be tailor-made to suit the needs of uh, people in the truck washing business or starting in the truck washing business who want to know more and who want to streamline their success in the truck washing business. Um, you're not going to start out on the 40 yard line. You're going to start out on the one or two yard line. That's where we, we're going to put you. Uh, I can't pick you up and carry you into the end zone, but uh, I can make it pretty much uh, a sure thing that you can get there if you have any degree of competence and if you're a hard worker and uh, if you are interested in, in developing and maintaining a professional image, this can be a business that will carry you for the rest of your life. It did me. It did me. And you'll see, you'll see uh, what we've generated uh, economically starting out in the truck washing business. That's how we started everything. That's how we got everything going. That's how we built equity in real estate that uh, later enabled us to move on to some beautiful uh, homes that we've lived in. Now we live in Texas and we're very, very happy here. And you'll see, you'll see. The, uh, the, the home the truck washing built. We want that to happen for you and we're going to just take you by the hand and take you through every single step of that and considering what you're going to get, I'm telling you, this is a really, really modest investment. Could, could, could we charge two, three, uh, four times this? Yeah, we could and it wouldn't be unreasonable, but we're not interested in doing that. I, I want to give back a little bit. And this is my opportunity to do that. So get in touch with me. Phone number's on the video here, 219-208-0500. Uh, and we'll start putting together a seminar. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Jerry K. Fitz. <laughs>